Knock Knock is a thriller directed by Eli Roth and starring Keanu Reeves, Lorenza Itzo and Ana de Armas. I don't like Eli Roth movies. <laughs> I don't like Hostel, I don't really like Cabin Fever, I'm not a big fan of him. But I really enjoyed this movie. The story of Knock Knock is relatively simple. It's about Keanu Reeves, it's Father's Day, and he's a happily married man and he has two kids. He has a lot of work to do. And this family goes on a vacation for three days. He's gonna stay at home, he's gonna get some work done. But that night, two girls come to his house. They're really cold, they're really wet, and they need help. And he helps them. And then they try to seduce him. They seduce him, they seduce him, and then they almost literally start raping him. And then he just says, okay, fuck it, let's have sex. And then he discovers that he did something very, very bad. I didn't know what to expect of this movie, seriously, because first of all, as I've already said, I don't like Hilary Roth movies, and by the trailer it looked very weird, but it's a very good movie. There is a lot more into it than what I expected. First of all, when you're watching the trailer you think, yeah, what are you doing, why are you having sex with them, you're, you're married, you're just stupid, but... Keanu Reeves gives one of his best performances in a long time. It's a very great performance from him because he does sell a man that's struggling with himself. He doesn't want to do that. He really doesn't, but when he's put into the situation he also says it in a later scene in the movie. What was he supposed to do? And he really gave one of the best performances of the year in my opinion. Not in the top 10, but in the top 20 at least. Because Keanu Reeves, with all this, what we've seen him as someone boring, <laughs> he's never been a great actor, but in these years he's getting very very better, he's a happier man also, if you watch some interviews, he's a very happy man, and I'm glad that he came back. Also the two lead girls, the girls uh, that basically then start torturing him, they were weird, they were very weird, their acting was a bit cheesy sometimes, but you actually never know if that's just them being not all that great actresses, or it's just the character, because they are playing a role. That's not who they are. Because all they want is vengeance, as you see, also in the trailer it's not a spoiler, but it's vengeance against men that basically hate their families, at least in their opinion. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie, the soundtrack is very good, the story does have some twists and turns that I wasn't expecting, the acting is pretty good, and the directing surprisingly good. Eli Ross, I don't know what happened. I, I'm not gonna lie, I never liked your movies, but you did a really good one. You did a really, really good movie. Props to you, man. I think that if you're a fan of Eli Roth, but don't like the gory movies, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. It doesn't have that much violence in it, it doesn't have that much gore. It also has a comedic side to it, which I always really enjoy, especially in dark comedies. And I think it teaches a message to a lot of people. And I think it's a worthwhile movie, at least to watch it once, especially if you find it on VOD or really cheap in the video store. So guys, tell me in the comments below, have you seen Knock Knock? Are you interested in watching it? Tell me in the comments below, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.